Hello, today's video is going to be a very short video on changing the blade on a skill saw, circular saw. This one is model 5400, but the 5180-01 happens to be uh, the same one. First thing you want to do, of course, in anything electrical, is make sure it's not plugged. I always get people when I don't say that. Uh, making comments on that okay and then the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, lock the blade this one doesn't have a place others uh, do where you can lock the blade but since this one doesn't the easiest way is just to put a piece of wood uh, there so you don't if you don't want to damage the blade you have on even you can see this one is pretty pretty bad um, and a cheap blade that came with it and so that way it won't rotate next thing is it will happen to be a half inch okay for this one here is a half inch so after you lock the blade so it can turn you're going to uh, turn counterclockwise okay and it's going to uh, remove the bolt right there after you remove the bolt okay see this just comes right out Pay attention, the writing is facing out. Okay, so when you put it back together, and then right after that, the blade, uh, you just move this out of the way, and you're, you see very easily you can take the blade out. So, you can see that's it. There's the old blade. And then to put the new one back on, okay, you just go ahead and reverse what you just did. If you can, you, I'm going to look in here and see if I can clean uh, anything in here. It always helps you keep your tools clean that will last longer. Okay, so again, all you do is you in this one here, you can move the lever out. Okay, so you can insert the blade. It goes in there nice and easy. Next thing, you put this back on. It was before. And the bolt okay make sure the teeth are facing the correct way okay and then you same thing put a piece of wood on there so you don't damage the teeth and go ahead and and tighten this you do not want uh, to tighten it too much okay uh, on the manual it says one eighth of a turn after uh, you got it on finger tight. Of course, it depends um, just how, how bad that bolt was in there. If, if it's really old and rusty, uh, forget about that. But in this case, uh, mine was very easy to remove and put back on. So again, it says no more than one eighth of a turn and do not use anything other than the, the wrench that it includes or anything similar as far as length, because of course, if it's something longer, you're gonna over tighten it. Uh, as you saw me doing previously to remove it, something like this, you would tighten it too much. So if you don't know, the wrench is right here. Okay, that's where your wrench goes. And that's pretty much it. Again, the, the other thing, just again, make sure what you see here, that's the rotation of the blade. So uh, before putting the power back on and or of course tightening, this but you should be fine um, make sure that this right here and this right here matches okay so a little longer than I thought uh, for something so simple if you have any questions let me know below subscribe to the channel for other things around the house and the car that I can hopefully save you time and money uh, share the video and click on thumbs up Patriot Marine out